Hey guys, this is Balu from Balu Prime and once again welcome you all back for an exciting tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how we can make a 3D character swim in ocean in Blender easily. So hope you guys will find this tutorial useful but before going to that if you end up liking this video, please click on that like button, do share this content and if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing my channel and support me. And by the way, if you like short 3D simulation videos, you can check out my second channel, link in the description. So now without any further ado, let's start today's video. So here you can see I'm using Blender 3.1, nice. So now let's select everything in this default frame by pressing A on the keyboard and delete. So first of all, let's start this by adding a plane. So go to this add mesh, select a plane here. So now being selected this plane, come to this modifier options, add modifier and add this ocean modifier. So here we got this ocean. So in order to animate this ocean, we need to play with the values of this time. So beyond the first frame, add a keyframe for this time or else you can hover onto this value and press i on the keyboard to add this keyframe and now move to the last frame and let me change the value to 15 and add a keyframe here so now let me select both the keyframes so make sure you are on this timeline press a on the keyboard to select both the keyframes now press t on the keyboard and select this linear so now the movement of this ocean will be constant nice so here we can play with the values of these waves here so come to these waves and if i increase the scale value you can see the result here so i will leave this to one only and choppiness if i increase you can see the difference we are getting with sharp edges so i will leave this by default only okay so now let's see how we can add characters and make it float on the water so here i got this Groot character from sketchfab download link in the description and i have added this swimming animation from mixamo and by the way, if you want to learn how to add animations onto the character, you can click on the i card above or else I will leave a link in the description. You can check that video tutorial. Okay. So now let me import that character. So go to this file options. It is an FBX file. So go to this import and select the FBX and let me select this FBX file. Make sure this animation is checked in and import. So here you can see we got that character and if I play this, it got that swimming animation. But the swimming animation lasts only for 80 frames. So here I want this animation throughout the timeline. So let me select the armature. Make sure we have selected the armature. Okay. Now come to this non-linear animation. So in armature, click on this button here. And now press N on the keyboard. Let me bring it up. Now come to the strip options scroll down come to this action clip repeat increase the repeat value so now we will have that animation throughout the timeline nice so now let me move back to the timeline here okay so now let me select the armature and place the character here so in order to move the character select only the armature don't select the character mesh so select the armature and let me place the character here so now let's add a plane in order to make this Groot character float on this ocean. So go to this add mesh, select a plane here, press S and increase the scaling and press 7 on the keyboard for top view and make sure this plane is just big compared to our Groot character. Okay, so this much is fine. So let me place it here. So press tab on the keyboard, right click subdivide and let me add subdivision counts to 50 okay so now being in edit mode select all the vertices press a on the keyboard to select all the vertices here come to this object data properties in vertex group click on this plus icon to add all these vertices to this group and if you want you can rename this one i will change this to pin and assign all these vertices to this pin group okay so now again press tab on the keyboard the exit mode so now select this plane here come to this modifier options once again add modifier and add this shrink wrap modifier so wrap method let it be nearest surface point and snap mode let it be on surface in target we need to select this ocean so click on that ocean so now we can see we got our plane wrapped onto the surface of the ocean okay so now let's see how we can make this Groot character float on the water using this plane so in order to make that select this armature okay so for this armature we want the pivot point at the center of the character so for example if i place this 3d cursor here and if i make this to origin to 3d cursor 
so till this point or till this let me side okay so till this surface till this body surface will be under the water and above this cursor it will be above onto the water object set origin origin to 3d cursor okay so now we got the cursor point here okay so after that come to this constraint properties object constraint properties make sure the armature is selected select this object constraint properties add object constraint and select this copy location so in target we need to select this plane make sure you are not selecting this modifier ocean modifier plane we are selecting this small plane here so i think this is the one so let me select that plane and in vertex group select the group which we have created so select that pin group so now you can say we got the character immersed only till that origin 3d cursor point okay nice so now let's animate this character completely so in order to animate this group character we need to select the plane make sure we have selected this small plane and first let me place it here now press i on the keyboard add a keyframe for location and let me see where the character is swimming so till this point let the character be at that location only so again add a keyframe for location so so this is the point so after this let me move the character here a bit now add location and also now again let me see till this point i want the character to be staying in that position so be that frame press i add a keyframe for location so from here i want the character to move forward so i'll move this character a bit press i and add a keyframe for location now in this way just repeat the steps here so now if i play this we can say we got our swimming animation ready so now let's see how we can add materials onto this so move on to this material tab material viewport so for Groot while downloading only we'll get the texture so select the Groot come to the sharing tab click on this plus icon now select this principal bsdf press ctrl plus t for node triangular and if you are not enable node triangular go to this edit preferences in add-ons look for node so by default this node triangular is unchecked enable this one and save those preferences after that select this principal bsdf and press ctrl plus t now from here we can add the texture so select the textures from here so here i got this group texture basic color open image so we got the texture here of the group okay so now select this plane or ocean now let me move on to this render viewport first so currently the scene is looking dark because there is no light in the scene so come to its world properties color select this environment texture so from here we can select any hdra so i have downloaded this hdr from polyheaven so open and let me select the hdr here and open image so now you can see we got the slight in the same now come to this render properties enable ambient occlusion and distance let it be 10 and enable the screen space reflections refractions come to this film options make it transparent and now select this ocean and let's apply shader onto this so come to this material properties add new material so we got this principal bsdf added now come to this sharing tab and let me bring it here now shift plus here and look for mix shader so add this mix shader in between this okay so now shift plus here and looks for emission so set this emission shader add it here now connect this emission to the shader here now let me place this notes now look for attribute so in search look for attribute so select this attribute here and in this name just type form f-o-a-m form now connect this color to color okay so base color i will change this to blue a bit 
so let it be light blue so first of all let's hide out this small plane here so select that plane make sure you have selected that plane come to this properties here object properties visibility and uncheck this viewport and in renders you can hide them here also so uncheck in viewports and renders we don't want that to be visible okay so now come to this layout options so now select this plane come to this modifier options scroll down enable foam here expand this one and in data layer just type foam once again right. so now we can see we got foam appearing here so now we need to increase the render quality or viewport quality so scroll up here we can see we got this resolution so let me increase this to 25 and also let me increase this in render also let it be 25 here also okay so before moving forward let me save the project so let it be Groot swimming and save fine so and finally let me select this shading tab and let me make the color a bit blue here so that it's visible clearly okay and let me make it a bit dark fine nice and also let me reduce the roughness and iqr value i will change this to 1.33 and transmission value let it be one okay so now this is looking much better so if you want to reduce this transmission value you can do that so i will leave this to one only and let me move back to this layout so if you want to have sunlight added in the scene you can do that so let me say we are getting the reflections here that is nice so if you want to add sunlight in the scene you can do that so go to this add and let it be light sunlight so come to the slide properties let the strength be 5 and press r x and if you want to rotate you can rotate this sunlight okay so if you want to have the light falling in this way we can add the light here okay so after that select this plane come to this modifiers once again scroll down come to this bake options and here we need to select a cache path where we can save the bake so i will select a quick folder here so here i have selected that folder frame start and end i will leave this to 1 to 250 only and later click on this bake ocean so it starts baking our ocean here so here the bake is done now let's see how we can render this scene out so for that we need a camera in the sense so go to this add add camera now press ctrl alt 0 press n on the keyboard come to this view options enable this lock to 3d cursor lock to camera to view and from here we can adjust the viewing angle here so let it be here like this so that we can cover Groot and ocean so make sure this camera is selected beyond the first frame press i on the keyboard add a keyframe for this location and now move to the last frame and let me get the camera here like this and again press i on the keyboard add a keyframe for location so now again select both the keyframes by pressing a on the keyboard press t and select this linear so now we can render this scene out so in order to render this scene out you can use either cycles so cycles resolution will be much better when compared to ev so come to this render properties so currently render engine is set to ev so if i change this to cycles and if your device got gpu enable gpu here so make sure this armature we got rid of that so if you want to render this out in cycles give a look on this maximum samples value so it will be set to 4096 which will take a hell lot of time so if you want to render this out in less time i would suggest you to reduce this number so usually i will reduce this to 10 or 15 still the quality won't be that much good but it will be okay so depending upon the time you can spend on rendering you can fix the value here uh, so i think 100 samples would be fine 
So here I won't be using this cycles. I will be rendering this in, in EV only. So select this EV and rest and all I will leave like this only. If you want to enable bloom, you can add bloom here. So I will add bloom also and come to this output properties. So let it be full HD, render to region, crop to render region, frame rate, let it be 30 and frame starting in 1 to 250 is fine. So in output, let me select a folder where I can save the output files. So click on this folder icon here. So here I have selected an output folder to save this output files. So file format, you can directly render in video format if you like. If you want to render in video format, select this FFmpeg video. But I will suggest you to render in JPEG or PNG because we can stop the render at any moment. So I will select this JPEG here and quality let it be 100% okay so after that just click on to this render and render animation so it starts to render the animation frame by frame here okay so in this way we can add 3d characters onto the water or onto the ocean in blender easily so hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial if you have learned anything new please like share and subscribe my channel to support me so we'll meet in the next video until then signing off take care bye